good morning welcome back to vlogmas day 17. morning everybody welcome back find me barefaced um i've been cleaning all morning i'm just going to take my glasses off for a second i can just about see you without my contact lens in but i thought what i would do this morning is just have a quick chat uh, tell you what i'm up to today which is not a lot really we last weekend did you know was crazy crazy busy and um, we were out all weekend so this weekend is going to be a very much a homey one um what I'm doing this month, well, what I've already done, what time is it? I think it's about half past 11. And we've done a big pre-Christmas clean for, bad, kind of like a spring clean. So I've had everything out of the bathroom, give everything a really good, good bleach and clean. Um, pulled all the furniture out everywhere. Everything's had a clean, the mirrors have all had a clean, the floors have all been vacked. Um, I've mopped the kitchen floor just so that we don't have it all to do next weekend before Christmas Day because we've got guests coming on Christmas Day. What are your plans for Christmas? Leave a comment telling me what you're up to. Um, this Christmas we have 11 of us for Christmas Day. I've got my daughter, a husband, uh, mum and dad, uh, my son and his wife and their two children and Oscar, my daughter's son, will be with us. He takes turns but he will be with us this Christmas so that will be lovely. Uh, I've just used my um, glycolic acid wipe and I'm just going to put some niacinamide from the inky list on my pores. So yeah, I'm going to have a no makeup day today. Um, as I said, I'm not going out. It actually looks like a beautiful day outside. I'll show you in a second, but um, Dave's just been out to the car and he said it's freezing. The wind's cold, you know. So what I'd usually do on a no makeup day is I've got my hair clipped back so it's not in my face while I'm doing this. Um, I usually do my usual eye cream um, and my usual sort of skincare routine. But what I am going to do today is use some of this um, overnight skin perfecter with Hyaluronic. Let me check. What's it got in here? Yeah, no, it's got ret gentle retinol. Um, it's got caviar, lime, AHA and sodium hyaluronate. Now, I know it's for night time, but because I'm having a day at home, I'm not seeing anyone other than you guys. Um, oh, I'm on the last little bit of this. So I'm gonna let it sit on my face all day. I'm sure it won't do it any harm. In fact, hopefully it'll do it some, some good. So I'm gonna put that on my face. So it's really nicely moisturised throughout the day. Um, my plan is to not do a great deal this afternoon. I need to do some planning for food shopping, which I'll do. Probably I'll pop into the store in Sainsbury's on Monday because I have a £9 off voucher, so I'm going to go and use that. And then next weekend, my son and daughter-in-law have managed to book a slot for the 23rd, so we're going to do like a big shop between us for for Christmas items and vegetables and things. We buy our meat, uh, not for me, or for my daughter or son-in-law or for my husband. We will all be eating vegan on Christmas day, um, but my mum, my other son um, and the children and his wife uh, and my dad will all be eating meat. So we've bought meat from our local butcher. We do really try and support the local village shops if we possibly can. Um, my daughter's actually just on her way down. We've got a little gift shop in the village and she's going to buy a couple of little gifts for different people for Christmas. So, so yeah, we do our best to do that. So, how long have I been talking for? I can't see without my glasses. Um, yeah, five minutes already. So I thought what we would do this morning, once I've done that, that is it. I've just put some um, of the moisturising lip balm. I'm really liking this. I'm going to buy a couple more. Um, it's lovely. Whoever recommended, thank you, because it really, really works. Um, I'm going to open number 17 today. So we've got number 17 out. Let's have a look. Doesn't feel like anything at all. Oh, 
Right, it's a little makeup sponge, tiny little. Now, I know these are supposed to be for kind of under your eyes, but I, I find them a bit firm. I have a um, this one that I use for under my eyes, which is, uh, I've got a couple actually, and I've got a backup complete, a brand new one. Um, but I find these a bit firm for under my eyes. I don't mind them for, my, for on my face, but under my eyes, I find them a little bit firm, but I will, I'll give it a go. I have been testing everything. I've passed some makeup on to Sam as well. She's had four new things today. So she said, oh yeah, definitely my colour. So she's doing, she's doing all right out of it. So yeah, I'm going to show you the weather. Um, yesterday we managed to get our Christmas lights up outside. So when the, um, when we get, it starts to get dark later, I'll show you those. They're very, <laughs> they're very bright. It was really funny when we were putting them up, we went outside. We, so a bit of a long story, but we do a, um, is that better for the reflection? Let me just turn the lights off and see. Yeah, that might be better. So we have octopus for our uh, energy here and they do, um, every now and again, they send an email saying, if you reduce your um, electricity between five and six, you know, on a particular day, you can be entered for vouchers and you can win prizes and it just helps the grid generally when people are you have heavy usage which is normally sort of five and six tea time kind of thing so we were doing that last night so that also coincided with um, a bit of a family planning meeting about christmas and what we need to do and what we're going to do and what we're going to cook etc um i might go through that with you after just so that i can um get it clear in my mind as well but yeah so we were doing that so we decided to have the meeting at five and have the meeting in candlelight apparently Dave looks best in candlelight <laughs> so, so that's what we decided to do and then after the meeting we went outside and we switched all the Christmas lights on we sort of put it on the agenda that at six o'clock the lights were going to go on outside which was fun and so we're all stood admiring these many many lights that Dave gets carried away with every year and um Sorry, I was interrupted there. So, um, what was I saying? So we went outside for the unveiling of the lights, our own little mini unveiling, and there were a group of ladies walking past the bottom of the of the along the lane at the bottom, and they'd obviously had a drink, and they all shouted, "Oh, nice lights!" <laughs> so Dave was very pleased. We sort of said, "Don't encourage him," because we we all like quite sedate, warm white lights, and he loves the colourful lights. So he's had his own way this year and gone for lots of colour which is fine, which is fun. So yeah, I'm going to um, end this little bit here. I will show you the weather and we'll get on with the rest of our day. So as I said, it looks really, really beautiful, but actually it's really quite cold. The wind's cold. It's one of those bright days, but you really need to be wrapped up. You need a hat and scarf and gloves on. So yeah. That's, at least it's nice and bright. We've not got any fog this morning, so that's good. Yeah, that's my daily weather report. Okay. I just thought I'd include this little clip. I just wanted to show you what we're going to do in the bathroom in the new year. So we pretty much, I, <laughs> we pretty much inherited this bathroom as it is. So you can see we've got the sort of creamy grey tiles on the walls. Um, a nice big bath, which I use as you know, regularly. And we recently, the, the side of the bath was broken. So Dave recently made me some new sort of cladding. Instead of buying a side, a side basically, we built that ourselves. So it's got a lovely big towel rail, you know, that sort of stands almost as tall as me. It must be about five, five foot, I think. Um, we've got a little cu cubicle for keeping bits in there. So it, it's actually fine. We've got, um, it's probably not exactly to my taste. I probably wouldn't have picked this sparkly black full, but that's fine. Now, as you can see, I've got these two little um, storage solutions for now. So at the moment, because we've got the tall tower rail and we've got um, just a sink with no, and because the window sits above the sink, there's really no, nowhere that lends itself to a bathroom cabinet. Um, and so storage is a real issue. So I've got my sort of cleaning products stored down the side in a little caddy there. 
we've got a huge big shower which is amazing it's a lovely shower a lovely big shower um, and that's fine as well um, there's nothing wrong with the shower so I mean eventually we'll probably change the whole thing to our taste but for now in the new year the plan is to replace this sink with a um, a sink with a drawer unit underneath it if you know what I mean showing you my toilet rolls <laughs> Um, a sink with a dry unit underneath. So get rid of the whole this whole thing and have a sink with two really nice deep drawers. We had a dry um, unit in the bathroom in our other house and it was great. They hold so much. And as I said, there's nowhere really. There's, there's kind of that wall, which would be no good. And then if it was on this wall, it would just be too high. I wouldn't be able to reach it. So. We've got a plan, um, I've got the dehumidifier in here today because it's had such a good clean that I wanted to sort of suck any moisture out of the air. The plan is we're going to paint the ceiling because the ceiling's looking a bit grubby. So we're going to paint the ceiling, keep the tiles, um, change the sink, the unit under the sink. So change the sink completely. The, the toilet is fine, the bath is fine, the shower's fine. Um, just get a nice big mat for the floor. Um, it gets really grubby, this floor, believe it or not. You wouldn't think it would be with it being so fussy, but it does, it gets lots of marks on it. The only thing I can clean it with is disinfectant because if I use any sort of bathroom cleaner on it, it leaves it very smeared. So the plan, that's the plan to um, just buy a few bits and bobs to change the door to the same door as the doors we've got downstairs, because as you can see, it's just a plain wooden white door. Uh, maybe get a better storage solution for the bathroom at the end of the bath although that does work really well and because it's black plastic and not chrome it doesn't it doesn't tarnish or anything um so yeah i just thought i'd sort of share with you what what our plans are for, sorry i'm making you dizzy swizzing round and um, what our plans are for the new year there's nothing urgent and we managed five of these little drawers but they drive me crackers because they only hold a little bit um and there's some things you just need to keep in the bathroom. I'm going to buy a new mirror for the windowsill. I'm keeping my charity shop glass container, which I keep uh, cotton pads in. Um, maybe something new, maybe something wooden to keep toothbrushes, etc. in. Um, we do share this bathroom with our grandson when he's around, so um, he does have his own little area as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, it's looking better already with this new bath side on. I think we're going to go for a grey unit under here. Because there's grey in the tiles, I think that will work okay. Um, they're quite a cool tone tile, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. A very quick lunch today. I've just got some, some beans and some toasted bread from the bakery, which is my favourite. So I'm just going to have this, I'm starving. So it's later in the afternoon and I'm just relaxing. I'm catching up with Your Homemade Perfect. I missed the whole of the last se season, so I'm catching up with that. It's one of my favourite programmes. I really, really enjoy looking at other people's home interiors and the fantastic ideas that, that the architects have. So I'm just catching up with that. And also a real treat and a Christmas tradition for me I managed to pick up a copy of the Radio Times Christmas um, magazine so I'm having a read of that although it cost me £5.50 which I thought was extortionate but there you go I do enjoy this enjoy looking what's on at Christmas we're not really ones for watching TV in real time but I do like to go through old school like I did when I was a child and circle things that I want to watch that are coming on over Christmas and also uh, my Saturday afternoon treat is to uh, read the iPaper. I don't really read newspapers but I do enjoy the iPaper. Um, normally look at the TV in the iPaper. I like the reviews on books and also um, we really enjoy. There's a couple of really good crosswords in here that we tend to do together at the weekend so yeah, so that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Not very exciting, but um, as I said, I will show you our Christmas lights later on. So I'll be back soon. Not an angle you normally see me from, but I'm just folding up all the uh, washing that I've done today. It's been in the dryer. I don't like using the dryer really, but 
we have no choice today it's just not fit to peg out and my spare bedroom where I sometimes pop a maiden in there with washing on um is full of Christmas presents so bit in the bullet this morning and put the dryer on just washed the towels and the bath mat and managed to get um ketchup down my dressing gown so I'll wash my dressing gown as well um, yeah I'm just trying my best to sort of preempt anything major that we'll need doing next weekend so that <clears throat> we can kind of just get ready for Christmas I've just messaged my son asking him to bring four emergency chairs <laughs> is it even a family Christmas without emergency chairs I don't think so we have eight and as, as I said we've got 11 for lunch so we need four emergency chairs so he said that's fine he'll bring those I've also mess messaged his wife because I know David and he will forget so he's got a memory like a sieve and so yeah just a reminder for him I've got a basket full of clothes washing but I think that's going to be a job for tomorrow so yeah I'm going to carry on with my um your homemade perfect and get on with reading my Christmas radio times. Okay, just before we call it a vlog, I just thought I'd show you our lights outside. That's the new lights I picked up in a, a vlog a few weeks ago from B&Q. And these are all our many colourful lights that Dave picked up. This porch is going to be being changed uh, in the new, maybe towards the end of the year, we're going to have a, a, a glass and oak porch and it's going to be extended through into the hallway but for now I thought I'd make it look as cheerful as possible got some lights inside as well so I'll just show you those <laughs> do you remember I picked these up from the charity shop a few weeks ago um yeah I'm just there and then we've just brightened up the ceiling mainly for the children I think they'll enjoy it when they come yeah so those are our Christmas lights so thanks for joining me. I'll call that a vlog. I'm going to go and watch Strictly, watch the results show, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.